Good evening, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Dave Dirks alongside Ricky Matthews. We continue to track a uh, busy night in the weather department. Rain has been falling across our area throughout the afternoon and evening, some of which has been heavy so far. We have avoided severe thunderstorms, and that's not the case to our south, though. As we check out Power 5 Doppler radar, most of the area right now continues to see uh, rain, some of that heavy at times. We'll have to keep an eye on the possibility of some localized flooding, but uh, there have been some severe storms moving through southeast Tennessee. Tornado warning had been in effect for Polk County near the North Carolina-Tennessee border off to the east of Chattanooga. But by far, the more intense weather occurring across parts of Alabama. Warnings up and down for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes and a new area of storms coming across the Mississippi River toward Memphis. And as we go through time, of course, Ricky will keep an eye on those, but also some wind not really associated with thunderstorms. Yeah, it's been interesting. We've seen the winds continue to increase tonight, especially across parts of eastern Kentucky and parts of southwest Virginia. Dickinson, McCannon counties had some reports of downed trees there. Our weather stations reporting some gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Other weather stations in Kentucky, some gusts up to 70. So we do expect some gusty winds here through the overnight. Even outside of the thunderstorms, wind advisories and high wind warnings are in effect for that risk through the overnight hours. Wet roads as well as you wake up and head out tomorrow morning. Temperatures kind of going to hover around 60 degrees as we go through the overnight hours. And uh, additionally, Dave, also could see some isolated flooding issues. Yeah, so we, we don't have any flood advisories yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they become necessary overnight tonight. Of course, we'll be tracking this entire storm system in more detail in just a few minutes. All right, thanks so much, guys. Throughout the Southeaster Sunday,